this is the thing that y'all need to understand. A true supporter can never be pulled away from you. No matter what they try to do, no matter what they try to say, these two here are not the final say in what goes on on this internet. The, and I, I don't know why people seem to think that um, these two are like Batman and Robin, you know, like, like, like they're invincible, like nobody can talk about them. Nobody can clock their tea. Nobody can, can speak on, you know, this man and his husband. And they're mad because you're getting on camera and you're literally trying something with your wife, Charles, and Charles is turning around and telling you to get off of him. And then we talk about what we've seen on your live and that's a problem. Can somebody make that make sense to me? How can you be mad? How can you be angry and mad at Miss Hillary Sanchez for your wife, Joe, telling you, get away from me, hands off. You know, like that, that's your problem. I don't know the demographics of what goes on in your relationship and in your household. But one thing I know for certain is that a spouse ain't telling another spouse to get off of them, get off of me when you trying to be romantic and you in a hot tub. It's like, huh? So you get mad and then y'all try to get on here and do damage control and you try to move the post and I'm unbothered. You know, Miss Hillary Sanchez is unbothered. My sister Mia is unbothered. We're just unbothered. And we understand how to clock the T. We understand how to um, advocate for ourselves and speak the truth that clearly has a an effect, a profound effect on you too. Um and, and, and seemingly other ones that we don't even care about. And I'm going to make it really, really clear. Miss Hillary Sanchez don't give a damn about these people who supporting them and trying to get behind them. It, it doesn't, it, I, it, I don't care. Um, and I know that they're, they're jealous. I know definitely that Joe is jealous. Um, Charleston Chu is just lost. He's just like one of those lost and found, you know, puppy dogs that, you know, just a stray that you find off the street and you just, you try to nurse it and try to train it and, and just try to help it. But it, it, it just makes no sense to me how somebody with the mindset of these two try to be messy and try to throw a brick and try to hide their hand when they punch in the air they're mad and they will always be mad because miss hillary sanchez is here to stay no one is going to take me off my throne i don't care what you say about my past, it doesn't make a bit of difference. It doesn't change anything. Recycling old information or think up on a different day makes it no damn different. And see, I know these people are mad because Miss Hillary Sanchez has filed her lawsuits and served. Joe Netta has been served. Joe has been legally and lawfully served and served. Joe has been legally and lawfully served and he's mad and now you going around guest speakering on these being a guest speaker on other people's things 
thinking that I give a damn. I don't give a damn because these people don't even know me in real life, but they seem to know so much more about me and my life than I do. <laughs> but what's so funny is that we, we, what we know is these two. We know Joe and we know Charles and we know Joe can tell a good tale. We know Joe can tell a good damn tale. And then when you call him on the tales, he lies. Then he lies. He says, oh, I don't, I didn't say that. Oh, I didn't do that. Sir, ma'am, yes, the hell you did. And your Husband or wife, whatever Charles is to you, that's your business because I don't care. But you seem like the wig needs to go on Charles' head and you just need to have your dreads. It's two bros, two homeboys. And, and we know who controls the money. We know who controls everything I like that. You do, Joe. You do, and we know that you get on here dry begging, give me gifts. That is dry begging. If you're asking your supporters, hey, throw me gifts, that's dry begging. If you're just saying, like, I get on here, tap the screen, tap the screen. I'm not on here, get c cash at me, do this, do that. No, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. I, I can take care of myself. Um, and it's so funny to me that these people, Joe, Netta, and Charles is so bothered that everybody has an opinion. And let's be serious. Miss Hillary Sanchez <clears throat> accomplished what she needed to do, which was bring awareness. Can anybody say that Miss Hillary Sanchez did not bring awareness to what Joe Cosby was on here doing, disrespecting black women? Nobody was talking about it until Miss Hillary Sanchez, Hurricane Hillary, got on his neck and stayed on it. See, this is where people don't give credit where it's due. Strategically, I accomplished everything that I came on this app to do, which was check this man, to have this man check his mouth at the door and to stop flowing out disrespectful, degrading things about African-American women and thinking that it's okay. Now, I was told today that Charleston Chu, Chu let the B-I-T-C-H word come up out of his mouth today about, um, about Duchess. And I, 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 I have, I, I got to look at this because I don't follow these folks. I don't look at this stuff, but I want to see it for myself um, because there is no person who should be calling anybody a B-I-T-C-H when you are bobbing your head left and right, sashaying in the kitchen, making diabolical food for your husband. And then you literally think that somebody gives a damn about you two? No, we don't. And let me tell you why. Because you are living in the land of the Neverland. Neverland. You're in Neverland. The, the, the videos and pictures that I got of that trailer and, and the grounds and, and all of that stuff has given me a great insight. I haven't even released anything but one particular photograph. Um, about this, but you literally don't want a tornado or a hurricane to come in your area because it's going to blow that trailer down. 
I, I, I think you got more better things to worry about. Charles, you should be on somebody's, excuse me, you should be on somebody's employment website instead of sitting on your behind playing damn games all day like you still a kid. You should probably be back at that metal plant begging them back for your job instead of worrying about Miss Hillary Sanchez. And 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 this is this is this is what's so interesting to me. You got these two clowns um running around here wearing fake imitation designer stuff acting like they're in fan in, in, in fantasy world, the the land of nothing. Fake Louis, fake bags, fake this, fake that. No, I I want you to understand that's not your reality because Miss Hillary Sanchez got the reality. Miss Hillary Sanchez showed you better than I could tell you. And see, that's the difference. Learning how to move in silence. Learning how to move in silence, do what you need to do. Once it's been executed, then you can come on TikTok and talk about it. See, that is what has got these people punching the air. And they're mad. They're trying to be retaliatory. And I don't give a damn. See, you can go and focus on getting dentures, veneers, and everything else. Great. Kudos to you. But at the end of the day, what are you what are you on here for? What are you known for? What are you known for? Making absolute fools of yourselves. That is what you are known for. You are known for being a country bunkin, two country bunkins that make fools of themselves for views and likes and a paycheck. That is what you do. And and you love to create a bunch of mess and then throw a brick and hide your hand. And 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 what's so interesting to me is that you can't cook. You definitely are not a clean person. We already know that because we see what you do in the kitchen. And why would I want your life? Why would I want your life? And here's the difference, Joe Netta, between me and you. And here's the difference when you talk about or you got your cronies talking about my husband versus your husband. Let me tell you this. You will never ever in your life see a video of my husband ever telling me to get off him on a live stream. You would never hear or hear my husband calling another woman pound cake face and she's She's pound cakes are a good thing and beautiful and pretty. Those are things that your husband has never said to you. See, that's the difference between me and you. See, my husband would never in a million years disrespect me that way like yours does to you on a daily basis. I have never heard him call you beautiful. I have never heard him call you, tell you he love you and or anything. All I see is camera opportunity, poses, video opportunity, a peck here, a peck there. You, It's a never intimate kiss. It's a never intimate touch. It's never, it's always something for a reaction out of people on this app. That is what 
is so interesting to me. And as you were sitting there, or shall I say, standing there when those authority figures came and served your behind with that paperwork, and you had that hand twisted like you always do, Joe, when you think that you know better than everybody else. But like I told you, I don't give a damn what you think. Me and you will see each other in a court. You are going to answer to what I filed against you. And you keep telling these people, how can somebody sue me when they get on this social media every day and talks about me and they make their page all about me? Let me tell you something. It's called a First Amendment speech. It's called opinion. I could have an opinion about you all day long, and there's nothing illegal about me having an opinion. Just like I said, you're worried about the wrong things. You're worried about the wrong things. And, and that's just a fact. And that and that's the whole thing. You y'all can't seem to stop me. So you go and you recruit and you get on these group chats and y'all talk about, hey, we gonna go live. We want to do this. We want to do that. I don't give a damn. You because I'm unbothered. And see, you two are not unbothered. You're not unbothered. And you're mad now because you've got to come to the state of Connecticut. You've got to come to the state of Connecticut, Joe Robinson, or you're going to face a default judgment. If you do not show up in the coming weeks in the great state of Connecticut, you will have a default judgment rendered against you and you can rest assured that I'm going to have a writ of execution thereafter. Now, you may not even know what a writ of execution is. So maybe you will need to get some of your supporters to explain to you what that actually is and what that means. See, the difference between me and you is that you got on this app listening to people who did not have facts. You got on here spitting out a bunch of lies, exaggerations, and slander about things that you didn't even know you was even talking about. And then they, people, little less that you know, you were sleeping with the enemy, Joe Cosby. And see, you didn't realize you took the bone that they threw to you and now you facing the consequences in a courtroom all by yourself. You're facing the consequences all by yourself because they were throwing you, they put you up to do the dirty work, Joe and Charleston Chu. You two have been their escape goats and you continue to be their escape goats. And that's what y'all don't understand. These people don't have any clout or even relevant on TikTok. They don't even know their people's names and they've got to drag you two in to get you to come up in a box so some of your viewers can come in and they can get more views. See, Miss Hillary Sanchez is not even on camera. We got 200 people in the room. If I got in the camera, it would just shoot up higher and higher. This is why they're mad. They're mad because I have an audience that they don't have. And I'm not worried about you getting four, five, and 6,000 people or 10,000 in your room, however you get, you're getting it because they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you and Charles. It's your entertainment.
You're like, you're like this, a series that when you go live, everybody tunes in because they want to see the next diabolical thing that the two of you do. When are we going to see you, you, you put more sugar in, in your, um, coleslaw and, 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 and in broccoli, what are you going to do next? What, what, what diabolical thing are you going to do in the kitchen? These are these, this is the reality of why you got the viewing people that you get. And people are going to tune in because it's insane. It's literally insane what you two do. It's insane. And then you play these games like, oh, well, you know, we're, we are in a marriage and we're this and that. Okay, who gives a damn? But what we do know is that Charles is in his room more than he is in Joe's room. We know that there is video, and this is what I try to tell you. We know that there's video that my sister Mia got a recordings that you literally told Charles he could get his clothes and leave. You don't care. You can get your clothes and leave. I don't care. See, that's not what a wife tells a husband that's not someone who has something jointly and you share the same roof and you have this and that you're not telling your husband to get his clothes and he can leave no see that's just that's just weird to me and then we've seen you explode on here joe we've seen you explode when charles you were controlling and you were being so dominant, Joe, and trying to pull Charles. And Charles said, I don't need you to do it. I can do it. And then you look him up and down and then here you go spiraling out of control. And then you end the live. You've done that multiple times. You've done that multiple times. And one of the recent times that I seen is when you were in that pool acting like you were Queen Elizabeth in that in in that fake Gordachi that you was wearing, um, acting like you was so beautiful and you was this and you were that. But one thing you didn't do was a 360. One thing you didn't do is turn around. But it's funny to me when you got on that, you know what? You literally are all in the camera letting your backside show but when you in that bathing suit you never do that spin around because that pad is not on and it can't get wet so not like that so and it would be so obvious that you'd be wearing a diaper um and 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 it's literally um what did you miss me up my sister said telling the owner of the trailer to leave is diabolical <laughs> miss mia said telling the owner of the trailer to leave is diabolical yeah it, it it it's insane to me but but this is people these two here say i'm jealous of them i'm jealous of of they skits no i'm not jealous i don't have i don't have I don't have the tools that you have, Joe. That's your problem. You you actually jealous of 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 the of me. And the reason why you jealous of me, and it's not because, and I have to say nothing about you. It's that you don't love yourself. That's what you that's what you jealous. You don't love yourself. How can you love anybody? How can you love anybody when you don't even love your damn self? I want I want to know that TikTok. Do y'all believe that anybody can love anybody if you don't love your damn self? The answer is no. See, when you love yourself and you have good high self-esteem about yourself, your husband can be on live battling anybody that they want to battle. And you ain't going to care because that's bringing in income in the house you aren't going to be screaming get off live with them you know who's
this and this and that and that. Why are you worried? No, you would let him have his own life, his own friends. He would be able to get the keys and go get a haircut without asking you for permission. See, there's a difference saying, hey, I'm going to get a haircut and then asking you, hey, can I go get an haircut tomorrow? Like a grown man in his 30s asking you for permission to go get a haircut is insane to me. See, why would why would y'all tap the screen? Why would why would I be why would I be jealous of somebody like that? It's no reason to be. I I don't I wouldn't want to go on uh, the auntie show to to have my a wig doing the electric slide off my head and instead of uh, accepting accountability that my wig I sweated my wig or the glue off I come with this diabolical lie that I set it up with the show people hey don't put no more glue on I wanted to come off sort of give them something to talk about dude set down please who do you think you fooling like really we know that the wig came out because there are cameras you sweat already because you're a man and then the the heat of them cameras and lights just sweated the wig off and you lean back and that wig come up off your head you could just say you know there was a my wig came off and that would have been that. But you come up with these diabolical excuses like you meant to do it. No, you didn't mean to do it. Just like when Charles told you, get off me. That was, and you went to whispering to Charles. You like to keep him under control. That's why you don't really like him talking because you don't know what's going to come out of his mouth. And that's just the truth behind it. Um, another thing, can I get y'all to tap the screen? He was embarrassed when the wig was sweating off. Yes, he was embarrassed. Absolutely, he was embarrassed that that wig it came off. And I'll tell you, all you have to do, y'all tap the screen. All you have to do is look at somebody's body language. Body language will tell you everything that you need to know. I clocked this a long time ago about Joe. When Joe is lying and trying to think of things, he will always do, uh, 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 this is what he does. This is what he will do when he's lying. He'll be stuttering and saying, uh, 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 the same thing that he did when they copyright infringed on Weber's seasoning called kicking chicken. And then he got act like he didn't know this and that he had a friend with a restaurant called kicking chicken. Has anybody yet found this restaurant called kicking chicken that Joe J Joe talking about his friend has a restaurant name that it, it's just it's it's insane to me the things that come out this man's mouth and then I I got a video of this man literally saying literally saying that he wishes black women and their kids would go to bed and wake up dead. And just a f the other day, he denied it. I got the video. I posted it multiple times on all of my pages. Why are you always lying? Why can't you have accountability and accept responsibility for your actions? Sir, ma'am, why is it? Why do you think TikTok has forgotten? Can y'all tap the screen? Thank you so much for, for my supporters in here tapping the screen. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all tap the screen. And, and that's just the truth. And, and I don't understand. People don't understand. Miss Hillary Sanchez came on this app on a mission. And that mission has been accomplished. The mission is accomplished because everybody is talking about 
Joe his behavior, holding him accountable, and he stopped disrespecting black women. How is that not a victory? How is that not a victory? I, somebody explain it to me. How is it not a victory when when you literally, thank you for the gifts, when you literally, you literally are, you literally are on here and you, you're making up things, you're making up skits, you're making up things because you don't have anything else to do. You claim you were so booked and busy, but you're home. Like that one movie, Home Alone. You're so booked and busy. No, the reason why you're not booked and busy is because of your own undoing, your own mouth. You got too cocky, Joe. You you started smelling them things that you were scratching the other day in that Bergachi suit that you had on. You you start sniffing them thinking that you were you couldn't be stopped and nobody could stop cancel you and and stop your b bag and do this and do that but um i i think that um you have gotten you have gotten a a dose of reality you have gotten a big dose of reality and 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 that's and that's the thing that is the thing that you don't seem to understand that um, people watch you and they watch you because of what you do, how you sound, and how you look. It, it's just the facts. It's the facts. You keep saying you going to TV land. And you, you want to go to TV land. Dude, please. Please tell me. If, if, if a t you couldn't get a production company, a true real production company with cre a credible production company to get behind somebody who has downed Afri the whole African-American race in, it, in its entirety. That's what you have done. But then you think that you want to get on TV land. That, that's what you think. <laughs> that you 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 want to you want to branch off into TV land. So we know you mumbling Charles lines in your skits. So how how are you going? How is Charles going to be knowing how to have his his story lines and stuff together? For, for TV land that you claim that you is when you sitting there mumbling his lines and your lines too. Don't meet us there. Beat us there. You He can't even, you can't even, this man can't even recite that little line without you mumbling it. Like, I don't get it. Thank you for the gifts. Y'all tap the screen. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Miss Hillary Sanchez Miss Hillary Sanchez knows that she got them mad. They in these group chats, punching the air. They stalkers. They stalk Miss Hillary. They stalk Miss Mia. People, this is what they do because they jealous and they ain't got nothing else better to do. They, they, they're, they're nobodies. They're absolutely nobodies. And I'm so unbothered. Mia is unbothered. We don't give a damn. And that's what, the, that's the gag. Y'all, that is the gag. That's the true gag because, see, people that come in here thinking that they something and thinking that you, that they, they got a mouth or they think that they bad, I could care less. You, you, you're not going to interrupt nothing that Miss Hillary Sanchez is doing because Miss Hillary Sanchez goes live seven days a week. She goes live seven days a week and you're upset and you can't stop me. You can't stop me. And I got three pages active. I got three 
deactivated and I can reactivate the other ones. See, people worried about, oh, she got X amount of followers here. She got this. She got that. You're jealous. You don't got them. You don't got them. And that's your problem. You don't got them. You do not have them. And, and you, you're trying to use these two clowns to build up your pages and stuff and, and, and recycle and fake false phony information like we care. We don't care. What we care about is Charleston Chu and Joe Diddy. Joe Diddy was in the jacuzzi. Let's clock this. Joe Diddy was in that jacuzzi. Feeling himself singing karaoke, not karaoke, but karaoke. And then he felt himself drinking them butt lights and whatever else he was drinking and thought he could make his move. But what he didn't anticipate was that his wife, Charles, didn't have enough liquor inside of his system. And soon as he dropped his hands under that water and touched him, Charles jerked his head around and said, get off me. That's a fact. You can't tell me it didn't happen because it's on video. Charles was on live and told, told, turned to you and told you, get off me. So why would I be jealous of any, anybody who got a husband and wife and the, the husband is telling you to get off of them when you try to be romantic and touch them. Please go somewhere and sit down somewhere. Please go and sit down somewhere. See, if you if you want to impress me, if you want to impress me like I told you and you still haven't done it, Joe Cosby or Charleston Chew, get up on the live and y'all give French kiss. Get up on this live and French kiss. Okay, get up on here and do that. Embrace each other on this live. When you went live, when me and Mia was on live and we were co-hosting a live and you two clowns was in, your, in that room with the lights cut off, talking, commentating and saying this and saying that, hey this and hey that and this and da, da 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 but you didn't have the lights on. You two dudes setting up in a bed. You two men setting up in a bed watching Miss Hillary Sanchez show and Mia co-host a live and y'all was mad then and you mad now and you can't help yourself and I get it. I, I get it. I don't want to ruin your appetite. Ah. Uh, I don't want to ruin your appetite, Miss Brown. My apologies. Two homeboys. It's it's just two. And let's be honest. Y'all tap the screen. It's two homeboys. Two homeboys sitting in the jacuzzi, drinking butt lights, waiting on. I don't know. Charles probably was waiting on a woman to show up, but he know that ain't going to happen. And, you know, he can't get away. He can't get away. Can anybody tell me that you can be around somebody 24 seven and not get tired of them? You, 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 you pass gas and he right there to tell you what it smell like. That's how Joe Diddy is. That's how Joe Diddy is. He can't do nothing without Joe Diddy in that live watching this live who he got in his box who he got this, who he got that. This is just an insecure, sad man that's jealous of me. He wishes that he was me and he knows Charles is not in love with him. I'm telling you, in my opinion, in Miss Hillary Sanchez's opinion, Charles is not in love with you. He barely likes you. And we know Charles didn't ask you for your sorry ass hand in marriage. We know Charlie didn't ask you that. We know that, Joe. Okay? We know that. We absolutely know that. And then what's so funny, you guys, is Joe Diddy always acts like Joe Diddy 
um, didn't know who Miss Hillary Sanchez was. You're a liar and the truth ain't in you. You're a liar and the truth ain't in you, Joe Diddy. And and I I it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that little old Miss Hillary Sanchez with my little hundred and eighty some people in this room gets under your skin. No point intended. Gets under your skin and got you you go to your people complaining and crying and Oh, she talks about me every day and this and that. Get over it. I don't give a damn. I'm going to talk about you, Joe Diddy, until I'm blue in the face. And there ain't nothing you guys can do about it. Okay? I'm telling you. And, and this is the unfortunate thing that you don't seem to comprehend that. You don't seem to comprehend that. Just like... You come up with these burger dogs, burger tacos, sloppy joes, big back breakfasts. Uh, this is stuff that nobody has never heard of. Nobody has ever seen nobody put flour and sugar in baked macaroni and cheese. And you call yourself country. Can somebody tell me I'm wrong? Am I wrong that you cook the noodles already, put cream cheese in it, and then you put flour, and then you put sugar, and then you put seasonings and everything else in it? If you were trying to make a roux, sir, ma'am, you did it backwards. If you were trying to make a roux for your mashed potato, I mean for your macaroni and cheese, you definitely don't need to put sugar is not called for. And everything that you make ain't got to be tangy, as you put it. I like my food tangy. If you want to get your kids, if you want to get your kids to eat they uh, broccoli, you put some sugar on it. Dude, bye. Like, bye. I want to put sugar in this, sugar in that, this and that. Cutting up string cheese. At least, at least you have lightened up on the bell peppers and onions. At least you letting the farmers stock that up and you ain't going nuts on that bell peppers and onions anymore but this sugar is flying off the shelf and and let's not forget anybody in here who's from the south or country can you please tell me how you can justify joe diddy taking a can of coca-cola putting it in a pan turning that oven on high hell and boiling chicken gizzards until they don't have any color in them anymore. And then draining the, the Coca-Cola that ain't evaporated yet and then seasoning them gizzards and then turning around and frying them in that old fish and chicken damn grease that he then kept stored away for months because uh, apparently he can't he ain't going out buying new oil so tell me how you boil chicken gizzards in coca-cola and then you turn around and season them and then you fry them to high hell to where they ain't. and then you turn around and you looking like you a lost puppy dog asking your supporters why do they look like that because you boiled the life out of them sir ma'am you you don't you you don't you don't know how to cook a gizzard? You don't know how to know how to put a gi fried gizzards on a certain temperature and let them slow cook and then cook then wrap them up to crisp up after they tenderized and cooked? I don't I I don't know how you call yourself a cook and then you have the audacity to tell po folks that you coming out with a cooking book. If you come out with a cooking book, let me tell you something. Let, let me give you something, some advice before you do anything to do with a cooking book. What you need to find you is the first 
li liability, commercial liability policy and get the, the millions of dollars worth of insurance, liability insurance. You want to get millions of dollars of insurance to protect you because if you are going to make a cookbook and it resemble anything that I have seen you cooking on this app, you're going to need it. You're going to need it. And, and, and that's a fact. You are literally going to need it because what we know is that you couldn't cook water. <clears throat> you can't, you, your husband couldn't even boil an egg. He couldn't let a hard boiled egg be enough. What he had to do was take raw Tennessee pride sausage, wrap it around an already cooked peel hard boiled egg under cook a sausage and then call it a big back breakfast these names you come up with is insane it's insane it's really really insane and 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 here is the gag here is the gag that you that you really you really think that people care about Yo, yo supporters coming in here thinking that they are going to knock me off what I need to do and what I want to say on my show. It's not happening. It's not happening. You, you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to control what I do on my show and what I do. And I know y'all mad. I know that you jealous and I know Joe Diddy. I know, Joe Diddy, you wish that your husband would get on here and tell you he love you. Why don't he get on here and do a video? He got a page and tell, tell everybody two or three things he love about you. What is he attracted about you? And you this and you that. He, every interview that you've done and they've asked Charles what he loves about you and what's this and what's that. It had nothing to do with anything romantic. Like you, your skin is soft to touch. You, you, he likes how affectionate you are and this and that. We know that that don't happen because he told you to get it, get your hands off of him, Joe Diddy. And we know that the other Diddy is locked up for doing them freak freak offs and that's what you probably was doing joe diddy why you got all that liquor in that trailer because that's the only how you possibly could probably get lucky is having all that liquor in there and on a whim and a prayer that you might catch your wife charlie slipping and then you get one of your freak off you know what you what you do what you and Joe Diddy, what the Diddies do? You, Joe Diddy, the other Diddy locked up, punching the air in, in, in New Jersey or New York, wherever they got him at, on no bail. I mean, it's only a matter of time, Joe Diddy, you need to stop this nonsense that you doing. You can't force nobody to want you, Joe Diddy. If, if somebody don't want you on them or touching them, you can't make them. Just because you claim to be married to somebody don't mean you entitled to just go up and do what you want to do and touch them and, and, and they be okay with that. It, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. And, 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 that, and that's the gag that, that, that these two clowns come up on here acting and perpetrating for social media that's all it is there's not one thing genuine in my opinion about them not even down to they they damn honeymoon they couldn't even stay off the internet for they honeymoon something that that's supposed to be sacred and everything they didn't want to be incognito without people knowing them they got them fake ass chains around their neck charles and nettle and and running walking around on a cruise ship of course people are going to recognize your ugly ass of course they are who who unless they blind i'm sorry so nevertheless 
Miss Hillary Sanchez appreciates the taps. Miss Hillary Sanchez appreciates the gift that she got. And Miss Hillary Sanchez will be live tomorrow. And those of you that don't know, tune in to Miss Hillary if you missed the live on YouTube. Ch tune in to the Miss Hillary Sanchez show on YouTube. Okay, I will be uploading the full video on YouTube and you can catch it in its entirety there. I want to tell y'all something. Joe Diddy got served. Joe Diddy got served. And if he doesn't show up within the coming weeks for court, a default judgment will be entered against him. And I will be down at the sheriff's office doing a writ of restitution, a writ of enforcement. And I promise you that. So again, thank y'all so much. Thank you so much to my moderators. Thank you, Mia. I love you, my lovely sister. It's so great to be unbothered. And everybody else is so jealous and envious. And we're just doing what we do. And we're going to continue to do that. So I hope that y'all have a great night. I hope that you sleep well. And I hope that you keep a smile on your face. Okay? I'll tune in tomorrow for the Miss Hillary Sanchez show where I will be showing y'all some, we are going on a field trip where I'm going to show you a little more pictures of uh, the icons, the icons property. Cause you know, I got the receipts and you know, I got the pictures.